To open up the file, you click on File Open. So if I open up Packet Capture number two, you can see that it grabs some files. And one of them is a docx. You can right click and say open file and see the carve.file attachment off the email and you can also see the this docx actually contains yet another file format itself. It contains a picture inside. And that is a um, easier way to, to carve for sure than manually doing it. You can also see credentials. So there's a username, sneakygeek at AOL.com, and password 558 rules. And that comes out of the an email. SMTP is a plain text, and if it's not sent over TLS, then the uh, credentials can be carved out because they are base64 encoded, but they're not encrypted. And there's two email messages we can see in here as well. And over on the right, for some formats, like for messages, like chats and emails, it'll actually show you what it says. So it shows the headers at the top up here, the content in the middle. And if there is an attachment, it'll show you the attachments. And then over here, you can see the assembled file, and you can right-click and say, Open File. So you can get to the attachment that way as well for email messages. If we open up packet capture number three, there's pictures in here of someone as they're looking over iTunes. So if you scroll down, you'll see the different movies, Star Trek and things like that. At least the new Star Trek anyway. The Host will help you see the different hosts that are talking, and it's also good about correlating the IP addresses, the MAC addresses, the DNS names, and the other information about the host under a single entry. It makes it a lot easier to get information about that host. It also runs fingerprinting, so it can tell you what kind of operating system it is and other information about that host as well. And if you want to see the DNS, you can use the host tab and it'll show you the DNS in line, but the DNS tab um, actually is really helpful as well because it shows you the individual DNS requests that were made and by who. 